Yes, well, we're going to talk about the Royals now because Afia uh, Hagen is with me, Royal commentator. Great to have her on. And the Duke of Sussex, as we reported yesterday, has been named in a $30 million US lawsuit alleging that Sean Diddy Coombs, who's a rapper, uh, used his name to give uh, sex trafficking parties legitimacy. There's no suggestion, obviously, whatsoever that the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, attended any of these parties. But Rodney Jones, who's known as Lil Rod, who's a record producer, has accused uh, Sean Coombs of a litany of sexual assault allegations and this is a 73 page lawsuit against the rapper and several of his associates and record labels filed in New York last month. Afio, what do you make of this? My, I, I reported this yesterday when it was breaking news and my Twitter absolutely lit up. Mm. And this is a prime example of someone using someone else's name to drag them, you know, into a situation that's pretty sordid, to say the least. I'm really glad you said there in your intro that uh, Prince Harry has not been accused of anything. His name is only mentioned once, and it's an example of the type of people that perhaps P. Diddy wishes he has associated with. So the actual uh, sentence uh, in the lawsuit says something like... Um, you know, uh, it was his VIP associations with celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British Royal Prince Harry. That's the only time it's mentioned. Uh, and also, obviously, there's been pictures. We've seen lots of oh, this particular picture of Prince Harry with P. Diddy and Kanye West. Uh, Prince William was also there as well when they met. That was backstage at the concert for Diana in 2007. Um, so there is no uh, indication at all that Prince Harry was ever involved in any of these allegations that have been made against P. Diddy. And we have to say that P. Diddy denies all these allegations. Uh, but it shows what happens when somebody wants to drag someone's name into something. Yeah. When he wanted to use his association with the British royal family that he didn't have in any way, shape or form to try and drag people, you know, into this circle, into this circle that he has. Mm. Now, what's happening with P. Diddy at the moment can only really be described as his comeuppance. There have been rumours for years about the things that he has been up to. Of course, I will say that he denies all these allegations, but in November, we had that lawsuit that his ex-girlfriend Cassie um, filed against him that he settled the very next day. And the details of that lawsuit were pretty grim. No, imp implied um, that she was raped, that she was made to sleep with male sex workers, that she was made to carry a gun, and he settled the very next day. Something, and that tells you all you need to know. Something uh, that is perhaps uh, brighter is that the King and Queen are going to attend an Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Just very briefly, Afu, it'll be good for people to see the King who's been suffering from cancer out and about. It absolutely will be. You know, there was he was really, really hopeful that he would be able to attend some version of an Easter Sunday service, and he is going to do that this week. So it means the King and Queen will be leading the royal family at that particular Easter service. We won't see the Wales there. They are taking some time out. But it will be great for people to see the King out and about. And like Queen Elizabeth II once said, you have to be seen to be believed, and he is really, really keen on doing that. So, yeah, it will be great okay. for him, actually, to be out as well. Okay, that's Afu Hagen, their royal commentator, both seen and believed. Um, so thank you very much indeed to her.